Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, I want to give you some more information about the bib lettuce growing in a deep water culture, floating raft system. So this that you are looking at is almost ready to be harvested. When when we harvesting this, Louis? When when we harvesting this? When we harvesting it? When we taking it out? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll take these out tomorrow. As you can see, they are looking green. And remember the last experiment I did. I told you that I didn't want to give you the recipe because um, I was seeing a little bit of burning around the edges. So what I have done is instead of because this is a system that is here, um, what I did was do the necessary corrections right and observe these growing in here instead of um, doing it in another experiment so because they were already here growing and I did the necessary adjustments um, I'm I'm able to observe the, the, the any kind of phytotoxic um, um, symptoms showing on the leaf edges and they basically I'm not seeing any at, at the moment right they are looking much better just a slight 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 um, discoloration right um, nothing to worry about and so I'm, I'm feeling much more comfortable to to share this recipe um, with you in terms of the nutrient recipe so I'm going to tell you the the, the nutrients that I, the fertilizers that I use the amounts that I use the ppm uh, EC and uh, pH so that is what I'm going to tell you so as it relates to the fertilizers that I use I use one that is called veg grow so I'll put them up on the screen while I um, talk to you so I use one that is called veg grow um, I use another one that is called potassium nitrate and then I use another one that is called uh, calcium nitrate now in terms of the amounts I use 25 pounds of veg grow 40 pounds of calcium nitrate 10 pounds of potassium nitrate that is the the amount that I use and I basically mix those in a 50 gallon drum and I'm not going to go over how you should mix what you should do is go to my, my, my previous videos that basically explain and demonstrate to you um, how you, you basically mix um, phosphate and sulfates and calcium fertilizers, how you mix them different and so on. So go and check out my, my other video. I, I'll put that in the cards so you could watch that video if you don't know how to mix them because you cannot combine all of those into one 50 gallon drum um, and mix them. You will have precipitation um, happening so i do encourage you to watch that video before you attempt to mix any kind of any any one of these fertilizers so um, as it relates to ph i keep the ph anywhere between 5.5 6.5 i don't go out of that range right so 5.5 5.6 5.7 5.8 5.9 6.1 6 6.2 6.3 and i tend to not to not go too close to 6.5 i tend to like cap it off at 6.3 so I stay within that range, right? As it as it relates to EC, I keep my EC anywhere between 1.1 to 1.3. That is where I keep the EC. So anywhere within that, that level, that range, you are okay. And then as it relates to PPM, I stay within like um, 800 to 850 um, PPM, right? That is where I, 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 I keep them. And that is, this is the result basically. And um as you can see they are looking they are looking okay and they are ready to be harvested right uh yeah so if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments area and i'll see you again in another video bye bye